Hey guys, it's Millie and today I'm going to be continuing my latex allergy series. If you haven't watched my last video, it'll be linked in the description box below for you to go check out. And for more information on latex allergies, you can also check out the description box below to visit my website, Living Latex Free, to learn more about allergies, how people live with them, other people's stories, and why I chose this topic for my gold award project. I am a Girl Scout of 12 years, so this is my gold award project. I wanted to bring some representation and education to an allergy that has changed my life, and I thought that it'd be really fun to include some YouTube videos for my project because I do make YouTube videos a lot. Anyway, today we're just going to get into common symptoms of a latex allergy. Two very common symptoms are itching and rashes. So when you touch latex, for me personally, my skin will start to itch and burn until I get it off. It's usually not too bad, but if I leave it, it can get very irritated. Some people, if they even after they get it off, they will develop a rash, so you may notice if you're getting a lot of itching or getting a lot of burning or rashes that you may be developing an allergy to something and that something could be latex. You can either go see your doctor, which is very highly recommended, or you can eliminate something from your life. Maybe you touch a lot of latex or you wear ponytails on your wrist and it gets itchy on your wrist. Just take the ponytail off, wash it off and kind of see is taking that ponytail off your wrist, is that stopping the reaction? Because that may be the problem. And you can just eliminate other things like that as well, or you can go talk to your doctor and see um, if you are developing an allergy. You can also experience hives or blisters from an allergic reaction. I personally do not, but that is a, uh, another common one for people to experience. If you do experience that, that is a little more severe than itching or burning, or even just a rash. So that is something, if you're experiencing that, you should definitely go see your doctor to figure out what's wrong because that can really start to affect your life. And those are all just symptoms that will happen on the skin. Some other symptoms that are not really like on the skin are things like runny noses and stuffy noses. Latex allergies can affect your breathing. With a latex allergy, you are likely to develop asthma or more likely than other people are to. I actually do have asthma. I found out about that before I found out I was allergic to latex, even though I can trace back my allergic reactions further back than my asthma attacks. So that is definitely linked to my latex allergy. Due to that, a symptom of latex allergies is actually asthma. By breathing in latex particles, your respiratory system can struggle a little more. You can develop asthma, have asthma attacks, trouble breathing, tight chest, things like that. So that is another common symptom of latex allergies. You may also experience wheezing, and shortness of breath. So if you're having any of those along with maybe itching or burning or hives, then you definitely should see your doctor because a combination of a bunch of these things probably means that you do have an allergen that you're not aware of. And it's really important that you figure that out so you can take care of yourself and keep yourself safe because allergies can become life-threatening. A life-threatening allergy may start to close up your throat so you can't breathe. So in that event, you would use an EpiPen if you're actually starting to have your throat swell up. However, most symptoms of a latex allergy are not like threatening. Usually it's quite calm, especially if you learn how to keep yourself safe to keep the allergy from really um, going out of control, but it can be life-threatening, so that's something you want to be careful of and prepared for. Reactions can last anywhere from a few minutes to a few weeks. Um, I have experienced both in my life. If I get it on my skin, like if I'm wearing a ponytail and it gets wet, um, my wrist will start to burn and itch, so I just take off the ponytail, wash off my wrist, and then about a minute later it stops. But if it touches my lips, and my lips swell up, and there's a lot of crusting and bleeding, and all this kind of crazy stuff, um, then it'll last about two to three weeks. So I've experienced both sides of the time scale, um, and both are not fun. If you are experiencing any of these symptoms, or multiple of them, then you should definitely go speak to your doctor, because you could be developing an allergy to latex, or just anything, and you should definitely go get that checked out, because it's really important that you know what your body is telling you and listen to your body so that way you can keep yourself healthy and safe because allergies will just get worse and worse over time so you want to make sure that you limit the contact to your allergen as much as possible so that way you don't cause it to become life-threatening by not taking care of yourself also you can comment down below if you have any questions or concerns and i can kind of talk to you a little bit um you can also check out my website for more information as well and don't forget to subscribe for future latex allergy videos and i'll see you guys in the next one bye